Malala, your strength, power, and courage are an inspiration to us all. It's an honor to have you join us here today at the World Bank on this very, very special day. I believe in the power of the voice of women. I believe that when we work together, then it's really easy for us to achieve our goal. When I was in Swat, only few of us were speaking, but still our voice had an impact. And now, not only I, but millions of girls are raising their voice and they are speaking. So I believe that through our voice, through raising our books and our pens, we can achieve our goals. What can we do to change the mindsets and attitudes of those people who don't want girls to get an education? When we look at the causes, that why girls are not going to school, and as well as boys, are poverty. Because of poverty, those children have to do child labor, child trafficking. They have to earn for their family. The second reason is the cultural norms and taboos. In many places, and people also use the name of religion against the education of children. So I think we must change the mindset of people. I think the best way to fight terrorism is not through guns. If you want to end a war through a war, it's never going to end. <laughs> Much of the money is spent on making tanks, on making guns. Much of the money is spent on soldiers. We need to spend the same money on books, on pens, on teachers, and on schools. So the governments must take an action. And we ask them now that work for education of every child. Malala, you know, we also ask people around the world to send us their questions. And this question was especially meaningful for me. I'm, um, as you know, I told you, I'm a father of a 13-year-old son and a four-year-old son. Any words of advice for the fathers of young girls around the world? My father says that don't do one thing with your daughters. And that is, do not clip their wings. Do not cut their wings. And let them fly. And give them the equal and the same rights as your sons have. Accept them as human beings.